really good actually. I've had a lovely day talking about the film and I really enjoyed making it and my one of my best friends in all the world wrote and directed it. Like, really? How cool is that? Um, and I'm home. I wasn't I haven't been home for months. I'm shooting in LA at the moment, so I got to come home. During the pandemic, I got to come home to ooh, to um, to celebrate the movie and bring the film to England to my my family and friends in my country. Um, it's a proud moment, it really is, it's wonderful. Talk to me about when you first read the script, were you like, I've got to be in that, I just need to be in it? It was a funny one because I, I read the script two weeks before the movie started. So I was offered, the, Lisa asked me to be in the movie really, really late in the day because she just couldn't figure out who she wanted for what. This character, and it's really, be she wanted me to do it but she was just, she found it hard to kind of rationalize such a petite woman being fierce. But then she's like, but Tandy's the fiercest person I know. So, and what we realized in retrospect that we'd internalized the idea of women from a male gaze, which is what we normally see in movies and drama about women in the military, right? And it just shows the importance of women's perspectives on women's characters in movies because of course you know once I started really looking at women in the military there were people like me thousands of women in the military like me the difference is that they swallow down and repress the bullshit that they have to go through in order to be women in that environment so what they do the sacrifice that they make as a result of that is, is extraordinary so I actually went into the movie once I realized that with even more incentive and desire to honor women in the military who we might assume are a different kind of breed of women who are tough and you know indestructible but that's not that's not true they're as destructible as you or i and they still do it anyway so my desire to play that role was even more passionate and my pride in playing that role is even more radiant you know so it was a really fascinating journey for me when I you know realized that the, the my own discrimination against myself playing the role came from internalizing the male gaze of what a woman can be did you enjoy the fighting did you love it I'm not a huge fighter unless it unless it's called for um, thankfully in life my life it's not called for uh, I think the violence is not, it should never be the first port of call um, for, the, for, the, for this movie. It just so happens that the most defining, coolest scene for my character is when I save Hugh Jackman's life. And the way I do it is pretty tenacious. I use a snooker cue, I use a snooker ball, there's a hypodermic needle that's being used, etc. It's whatever, whatever goes, man in order to, but the point to it is not the violence, it's saving your friend's life. You save Hugh Jackman's life. And I do it. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey You Guys.